So today, my fellow colleagues and my fellow designers, I want to share with you something called patience. You know, when you are studying, you're always like, I need to meet that target for that homework. I need to meet that target for that particular project. By you trying to meet those targets, there are certain things which you sacrifice as a person. Everyone here is competing to be the top on, in this class. Everyone here is competing to have the best design in this class. And do you know what competition creates? It creates you to start just copying each other. Competing is not the best solution. But if Peter says, you know what? Leader here wants to compete. For me, I'm going to take another route. I'm just going to dominate. By domination, for him, he's no longer looking at Dida as himself. He's looking at the entire class. What is the other person doing? How can I trick it better? Like he composes and he puts it like, you know when you see now we are spaced? He puts it in one circle like this. Then he looks at you as one individual, not looking at his neighbor as his competitor. Because for him to dominate, he has to start fo stop focusing on just competing with this particular individual or competing with you or competing with the other one. For him, his focus is like, how can I be the head but not the tail? Because when you start competing, you start looking at your neighbor, what, what are they doing? Did they paint blue? I'll paint blue. Or I'll add it a little bit of shell. But in this particular case, to dominate, you can paint yellow, and yellow dominates out the other colors. You get what I'm saying? So in life, in whatever you are doing, in any project you are going to do, in school here or out there, where are you going to be? Or in a field of place of work, I beg you to ask you, never, Compete with anyone. Because when you start competing with anyone, they are going to start comparing you together. And you never want to be compared to another person. Or to be compared to another company. Because their principles are different from your principles. Their character is different from your character. The way they do things inside, they might be not taking care of their employees so well, like in another business. Your business, when you get out of here, all of you, you're going to be like, okay, I'm going to work for someone or I'm going to create my own entity. You get what I'm saying? So, when you're out there in the field work, let me say you work for someone. I don't want you to come in the office environment thinking like, okay, I'm going to compete with whatever is there. I'm taking them down. I'm going to be the one leading. What I want you to, to when you get there, just do what the best of the best can do. To be the one dominating. Because when you dominate, your entire mindset goes away from like competing with the other individual. Your entire mindset is about, it comes to collaboration, it comes to teamwork. Because r right now always, your mind may be just thinking about, okay, how can I compete with the other person? Now your mind is like, how can I just ask him, how is he doing it differently than me? Because for me, when I, I, I go on the system, it takes me two hours. For him, it does it in one hour and a half. Can I just learn that a bit of skill? So by the time you finish, by you not focusing on competing with the, your fellow individuals and you just dominate with them, what you come, you say, my brother, teach me how you do it in 30 minutes, one and a half, 30 minutes. The other person, teach me how we shade it blue very well. Teach me how we shade, how, how you are good at marketing. Teach me how, like, now you see like your mind is no longer just like, I'm competing with this guy or I'm competing with the other fellow guy. You get what I'm saying? Your mind is just all about like, okay, how can I be able to compose all that entire experience and that general understanding together and I just dominate the marketplace? Because the first thing which I'll tell you guys, when you go to the marketplace, here today, you are studying, you are learning. Everyone is being generous to you. Everyone is like, okay, he's a student, he's learning, or he's trying, or he used to do this, now he's trying to learn this. I'll tell you, the marketplace will always pay you what is your value to the marketplace? They, they will never pay you more if you don't bring a different game on the marketplace. So what helps you to get paid more in the marketplace is the additional value you bring. Today, if you are studying design, it's not the only thing you should study. Study about math. If you are studying design, study about taxation. Because do you know what? In property development, there's so much stuff which is going to come. You see, Uganda is so, so virgin that so many principles are going to be applied in, in the future. 
whereby you're not just a designer. You need to know about zoning codes. You get what I'm saying? And the classroom here is the team which is going to lead to develop that. Not anywhere place. But if you only focus on your neighbor, what they know, you're shielding yourself in a certain position. For you to dominate now, it is like you add knowledge a bit by bit from all these fellow individuals.